Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up. We've got another video for you today, this time looking at a game called Wanderling. We were asked if we would have a look at this game by the publishing team, so thank you very much to them for sponsoring this video, as the game has received a big update this week, adding a lot more content. So what exactly is Wanderling? Well, let's find out. Let's have a look first at exactly what Wanderling is before moving on to the update. Well, it's a puzzle platformer with an interesting premise in that you play as one of the minions of the main antagonist on a quest to stop the hero of the game, Carrot Man. What's interesting about how this is handled is that after every few worlds, you will get into a fight with Carrot Man and defeating him here ensures he loses one of his lives, with the aim being to deplete him of all of his lives as the game progresses. It's a clever take on the usual video game template and a nice way for the game to be quite self-referential. In terms of the actual gameplay, you'll need to get Wonderling to the portal at the end of each stage, avoiding obstacles as one hit and you'll need to retry from your last checkpoint. Wonderling never stops running, but is able to jump and will acquire a few more skills as the game goes on, such as a boost jump or a wall jump. As you avoid these obstacles, hitting a wall will see you change direction, and this is a very important mechanic in making your way through stages, which can bend and turn quite a bit as you go on. As well as this, there are occasional power-ups that you'll need to grab in order to make it past the precarious hazards each level has in store for you, such as wings that enable you to fly. There are collectibles to try and find throughout each stage. Some of these, like treasure chests, will grant you extra items of clothes for your character, allowing you to customise them to your own style. You will need to make sure you get to a checkpoint or the end of the stage with the loot you have found though if you do want to keep it. Other collectibles, such as the sunflower seeds, act in a different way. First of all, you have the collectible aspects of wanting to 100% stages, of course, but Wonderling will begin to lose health if he goes a while without eating a sunflower, and therefore you will need to be grabbing these to prevent losing a life. This sets up some very interestingly designed levels when going for all of the collectibles, where you might need to deliberately miss some sunflowers to ensure that there are some to eat as you go off the beaten track to grab the treasure chest and then make your way back to where you should actually be. It adds a lot of replayability to the game and a whole new dimension for a second playthrough. It's a very interesting mix of gameplay styles, with early levels having a bit of a Toki Tori or Donkey Kong 94 feel to them, albeit of course with that auto running mechanic, mixed in with the need for grabbing items to stay alive a la Adventure Island or the early Wonder Boy games. Later levels become quite fiendish in their design and have a touch of Super Meat Boy about them with the challenge ramping up. It was this feeling of a mixture of some very good games from the past that I liked most about Wonderling, as some of the aforementioned games are personal favourites of mine. It also had a bit of a bit trip runner feel to it in terms of the fluidity, although the stages do feel more elaborate due to having more of a sense of verticality to them. There are two endings to aim for as you make your way through over 100 levels across the 8 worlds and a host of collectibles aside from the ones I've mentioned, so there is plenty to do for completionists. All that's before the update though, so let's now have a look at exactly what that brings. And to those that already own the game, it will update it to the new DX version. Anyone buying the game from this point on will of course be getting the DX version as standard. To access the new content, you do need to have finished the game with the good ending first. And once you've done this, this opens up a new world to attempt, which consists of 14 levels. These new DX levels are actually hidden within the base levels and you'll need to find the secret exits. As well as this, you have new items to acquire for your character and a new speed run timer for all levels, which can be accessed from the start. As great as it is to have new levels for nothing, I actually really appreciated the inclusion of the timer most. Something that adds a new competitive element to previously beaten levels as you attempt to see if you can better your times. The art style, as I'm sure you would no doubt have seen by now, is pixel based and there is a real vibrancy to it. Each world has a unique feel to it which makes the journey seem like a grand one and the characters are fun with their self-referential comments as I mentioned earlier. Wonderling DX will cost you £13.99 and regional equivalents are on your screen now. For the amount of content on offer including the new levels of course with this update, the number of collectibles and items to uncover and that new speed run timer you are getting a good amount for your money and it is just the sort of game I like to play a few levels of a night over the course of a couple of weeks. Also, I bet I'm not alone when playing games of this nature of having the compulsion to click retry level when completing one if I missed a collectible or didn't get all of the flowers. I never seem to be able to just move on to the next stage until I've at least tried for all collectibles a few times, even if the level is beat. 
Tell me there are others out there like me on that front, surely there must be. So there you have it, that's everything you need to know about Wonderling DX, a very fun and challenging game that's just got a lot better owing to that update. Let us know if you will be picking this one up in the comments section, or if you already own it, will this update draw you back in? Thank you to the publishing team for sponsoring this video, there will be links in the top in comment for where you can purchase the game if you are interested. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support, and to each and every one of you for watching our videos, take care, and until next time, happy gaming.